Okay, I'm going to continue from where I left off yesterday, minus uh, some of the code issues, and uh, I'm a lot more awake. So uh, let's uh, <laughs> let's get back at it. Okay, so we'll start off at the system options view. And I mentioned the battery indicator. I don't know why. Well, I do know why. I was just too tired. Um, there's actually a separate UI element called battery indicator. That's what I should have used. And I want it in the same position, so I'm going to copy and I do want it here and I'm going to paste layout so it's right there. Let's get rid of this image version because clearly that's not going to do anything for us. And the reason why I have a separate UI element for this is because it has some special properties. So we have the number of graphical bars, four, five, or 10. And again, if I select the, uh, media subfolder, which was in this case, battery indicator. If I click browse, click on battery indicator, we can see the different images representing the status of the battery, what the battery level is, whether or not it's plugged in, if it's plugged in and charging, um, so on and so forth. Okay. Um, so as you can see here, uh, total number of bars, we've got one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So I'm going to select five and the battery indicator does not display on my desktop because I do not have a battery. So you can have a fallback folder and a fallback file name. So I'm going to pick this one. So it looks like charging. Actually, I'm going to change it to this one where it just says plugged in. OK. And, and how did I come to that? Well, if I click on battery indicator and scroll down a little bit, it actually tells you what the file naming convention should be. OK, you can use a PNG, JPEG, JPEG, bitmap extension. Not a problem. All right. But because I selected five bars, it tells you what the file name should be. So one through five with a prefix of zero indicates that it's not plugged in. And uh, the bat it's, it's essentially the device is on battery only. OK, when it's plugged in and it's not charging the battery, the prefix or the first character in the file name will be a one. And then if it's plugged in and charging, it's a two. OK, so that's that's the file naming convention that I've used. So this is just a little helper area to ensure you name your images correctly. And that's really all you do. As you can see here, I just essentially pointed the UI element at the folder. I told it how many bars and the bars was based on how I designed the image, okay, with five bars. Um, now, I do want this image to be the same color as everything else, okay? So we're going to scroll down and select Effect, and I'm going to use Monochrome. I'm going to go over here to the text field. I'm going to hit Copy, then go back to uh, Battery Indicator and hit paste. And now it's in the same color as everything else in these glass panels. OK, just for cons uh, consistency sake. Now, the image is being displayed. And uh, what I may want to do here is potentially encase it inside a dock panel. And a dock panel allows you to um, uh, add multiple 
uh, UI elements. It could be text, could be images, could be whatever you want, and it will align them horizontally. Okay. So I may want to do that because what I want to show here is uh, the uh, percentage. Okay. Not just the, the bars. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to add a dock. And again, I'm going to position it here. And I'm going to name this battery. I'm just going to call it battery status. All right. And uh, I'm going to copy. I'm going to paste layout. Okie dokie. And now what I want next to it is the actual percentage. All right. And this is just a text field. And I'm going to cheat. I'm going to use uh, either the date or the time field. It really makes no difference because it's already got the same colors. And what I do want to do is auto size the width on the dock. There you go. And I want battery percent, whoops, battery percentage, both width and height. Scroll down. We do not want system date and time as the metadata field. We want a uh, battery percentage with a percent sign. All right. And if we have nothing, then obviously if, if we don't have a battery in this case, this is my desktop. So no battery, no percentage, but just so that we can see what it would display. If we had a battery, that's what it would look like. Okay. Um, I'm going to change. I'm going to change. What am I going to change here? I don't like the size of the font for one. Uh, and I want to align everything within the um, dog panel. So align left, but centered within the dog panel. So centered vertically, centered vertically. Uh, let's see. There you go. All right. So that's what it looks like. Okay. Um, I guess I could increase the font size just a smidge, like at 18. And I guess what I could do, oh, I was going to add a margin. I don't think I need to. I think that looks fine. All right. Um, we don't need uh, a fallback for this. Okay. So I'm going to remove the fallback value for percentage. Okay. So if we don't have a battery, it's not going to show the percentage. Uh, the same is true for the battery indicator. Okay. Um, I don't want a fallback. So let's see, blank and uh, doesn't really matter. I've got no fallback. So again, no battery, no image, no battery, no actual percentage. Okay. So this uh, dock will be um, completely empty and there'll be nothing in it, but I do want to copy it. So I'm copying this UI element, which in turn will include the battery indicator image and the battery percentage text. Okay. I'm going to save this view. I'm going to go to the next view. Hit edit. And I'm going to select battery indicator, move over here, hit the delete key. And then after system date, I'm going to paste in place and lo and behold, it's pasted the dock panel with the two UI elements within it. 
obviously again no battery for my desktop so it won't show anything but if this was published and uh, run on my asus rog ally or uh, a laptop then this will be populated all right so again save next view we're just gonna repeat the process <clears throat> select battery indicator, move the mouse over here, hit the delete key, right click on system date, paste in place. Okay, it's pasted, hit save. We've got two more views to do. If I was more awake, I wouldn't have had to have done that. <laughs> I would have done it last, uh, well, this morning. Uh, oh, did I? already go into this whoops there you go go into this view again click on battery indicator move your mouse over to the editor hit the delete key right click on system date paste in place there you go hit save edits and this is the last view battery indicator move your mouse over here hit the delete key right click paste in place there's our battery status and we are done and that's it again i can't really show you even if I published a big box, it's not going to show anything unless I was running this on a monitor or something with a with a battery and I'll be able to show the different states. But I just wanted to show you that we have elements that um, allow uh, this kind of information to be displayed graphically and by text. Um, and it's relatively easy. You just need to acquire the graphics. Um, as you saw, I just simply uh, point the metadata value uh, at a folder that contains the images and it will translate the value to an image path and lo and behold display the image on screen so it's very very easy all right well i just wanted to kind of follow up on that like i said now that i'm more awake and i realized that uh, i was going down a particular path with a battery indicator and uh, and it, it really is no big deal all right, so there you go. That concludes this portion of just setting up this particular theme, and I'll have um, more uh, more videos following this one that tackles uh, you know some what I would consider kind of advanced features. All right, so again, next video.